several of the prophets, and they were all talking about the same thing. In fact, it's the same thing that John the Baptist was talking about as a voice in the wilderness and Jesus Christ was talking about as the rightful king and the highest son of David and the accepted king of the citizens of Judea. That's right, the the citizens of Judea accepted Jesus Christ as king. And when they did that, some cried out that they had no king but Caesar. And of course, they're out. They're no longer a part of the kingdom of God. Because out of their own mouths, they have convicted themselves by accepting Caesar as king. Because they wanted the benefits of Caesar, and the protection of Caesar, and the gifts and gratuities of Caesar. And so they're out of the kingdom, because they are applying to men who say they are gods. Paul talks about there are many who say they are gods, but are not gods. Well, of course, Caesar Augustus, and Caesar Tiberius, and Caesar Nero all claim to be gods, which simply means ruling judges. They were the apotheos of Rome. That means that they are the primary judges. They get to judge more than other men. Like in the United States, we have a Supreme Court who decides what is good and evil for the members of the United States. And they get to decide that. They are the gods, the ruling judges of the United States. And they have, you know, a defined capacity in which to operate. But if they say it's so, I guess it's so. <laughs> so anyway, the painting, the Apotheos, was an office that the emperors requested, starting with Augustus Caesar, who was the first emperor of Rome. Emperor in itself means commander-in-chief. All these people are political in origin. And of course, Christ came along and said, my kingdom's not of your world, referring to the constitutional order and system of government of Pontius Pilate. Because he was certainly on the planet, so he wasn't talking about the planet. He was talking about the world of Pontius Pilate. He was talking to Pontius Pilate. And then Pontius Pilate asked him, are you a king? And he says, thou sayest it, that I am a king. Well, of course, also the people of Jerusalem hailed him as the highest son of David. They're saying that that he's the king. He's called the Christ, which means the anointed, which in Hebrew would be Messiah or Meshach. And we would translate that Messiah. So Jesus was the Messiah, the Christ, the king of Judea, which at that time was the remnant of Israel. And Jesus said, I'm going to take the kingdom away from you and I'm going to grant it to somebody else. Jesus was extremely political. (laughs) His gospel was extremely political because he was preaching a different kind of kingdom than what the Pharisees had been setting up for a number of years. And this is a pattern that we see throughout history is that either you're headed towards Babylon, Nimrod, Lamech, Cain, and their types of government, or you're headed towards the type of government that Christ is talking about, which we call the kingdom of God. 